this is Celine from Pet Simple Artisan Soaps. Today um, I am not making anything. Today I am going to be reviewing some of my uh, favorite fragrance oils that I use in almost mm, most of my products. So, uh, and some of the best sellers. Uh, so basically uh, I'm not affiliated with this uh, company, um, There's, it's not sponsored, it's just that I like these scents, I use these, they sell well. So I will review uh, these scents. You have seen most of these scents in the products that I have made. Uh, these are all scents from Nature's Garden. I will put a link uh, for them in the description below. So let's get on with um, reviewing the scents. My very favorite and the best seller that I have is the Japanese uh, cherry blossom. I have a soap in this. I have a um, bath bomb in this fragrance. I have a body butter in this fragrance. Uh, it's it's something that I really like. It's very nice, subtle, uh, beautiful. So uh, I'll read the description of what they have on uh, Nature's Garden website for this. So basically uh, all they say is that it's a blend of pink Japanese cherry blossom and fragrant mimosa flower petals. And for the base note, they have warm vanilla, uh, tonka bean and oriental woods. And trust me, I cannot get enough of this scent. This is just absolutely wonderful. Now how this behaves uh, in soap? Well, uh, on the website they say it's a perfect pour, there's no rising, there is no acceleration, there's no separation uh, and it is right. I like the way the scent behaves in the soap. I have not found it to misbehave at all in soaps. Um, you can literally, uh, I normally work at room temperature with my uh, cold process soap and um, this has been wonderful. I can make swirls with these, I do hanger swirls, I've done drop swirls, I've done uh, everything with this. And it is wonderful also. Yeah, you have my dog. That introduction to my dog. He is there in all my videos. And he thinks um, he is responsible not only for taking care of my house. But he feels responsible for the whole area. So you will hear him in most of my um, videos. He is always there. I don't think I missed a single video without this dog of mine. Uh, he's just one and a half year old and uh, he's a mixed breed. He thinks he's a vicious carnivore, but trust me, he's a dog who's scared of anything and everything. I can move a plastic and he can be scared. Uh, he just keeps barking. He thinks he's responsible for this whole street of mine. There's someone on the opposite side also. He thinks he's responsible to keep us safe. So yes, uh, that's for my dog and uh, I'm sorry about the interruption that he keeps giving me in all the videos. Yeah, so Japanese cherry blossom, my number one favorite um, fragrance. I am also planning on making a candle with this. Um, right now I'm only in the testing phase of my candles. I've still not started selling my candles, uh, but when I uh, make my candle with this fragrance i'll surely show it to you all how i make it uh, people have loved the soap uh, the fragrance in this in the soap they have loved the fragrance uh, the body butter and uh, obviously the bath bomb is a top seller so that's the first one my favorite My second fragrance is Magnolia. 
uh, I love this one also. I have uh, my calamine soap made in this. I have my calamine uh, bath bomb made in this. I still don't have a body butter in this, but I have a soap and I have a bath bomb. I am planning on making a calamine body butter. So I will be having a body butter also in this and maybe even a sugar scrub. I love this fragrance too. This is a really nice uh, fragrance. It's basically uh, aroma of blooming petals of the magnolia tree. So this is oh, uh, just magnolia flowers. That's it. Now, uh, as per the nature's garden website, uh, it has some acceleration, no rising, no separation and no discoloration. I agree. Um, but instead of some acceleration, I felt it accelerates a lot. But I'm not sure if it's because of the fragrance. I mean, there would be some acceleration because of the fragrance or is or does the calamine powder also contribute in the acceleration? I'm not sure. But this fragrance is wonderful. My calamine soaps sell so well. Um, people really feel surprised when they smell the calamine soap. They're like, oh my God, this doesn't smell like calamine at all. Because obviously this fragrance just works wonderfully uh, for that soap and the bath bomb. So when I make my uh, body butter with calamine powder in it, I will show you all the video and I will be using this fragrance. Uh, I might make a sugar scrub. I am not sure. But we will see. And if I make a candle... Again, I'll show you. So this is my second favorite. So I don't know, maybe I'm, you know, I like flowers more. So Japanese cherry blossom. The second is magnolia. The next what I have is amber waters. Another best seller for my soaps. Um, this is uh, more of a clean gens you know a men's smell uh, smells more like um, I would say a cologne it really has that nice uh, manly uh, fragrance to it so the top notes for this is pink grapefruit Italian bergamot and red berries the mid notes for this uh, white lilies, lavender and marine accord and the base notes are golden amber, patchouli uh, and wood. Well, uh, it says perfect pour, no discoloration and strong scent retention and I agree with all of it. Uh, there is no rising, no acceleration. You can work swirls, you can you know, you can really work your um, colors in this. I use three colors for this and I can work really well with it. Uh, as I say, I always work uh, at room temperature. My oils and my uh, lye water is at room temperature when I make my soaps and this works really well. As of now, all I have in this is a soap. Uh, though I am planning on making um, bath bombs with this uh, and also I am planning on making um, body butter uh, with this I am not sure uh, about a sugar scrub I am not sure if you know men like sugar scrubs but yeah I would be making a candle also so once I get there I will show you all the making but amber waters one of my best sellers especially um, for men they really like this fragrance the next what i have is grapefruit and lemongrass energizer this one is another very clean scent uh, 
it i can actually get um, the fragrance of uh, lemongrass right here and citrus so this is a beautiful beautiful scent again i have um, a soap and i have a bath bomb in this though i've named my soap and my bath bomb sunset bliss uh, i love this fragrance i made a candle with this and it was um, the hot throw in the candle was amazing it really really you know filled up my house it was it was a beautiful fragrance so this is another best seller for me the top notes for this are grapefruit obviously lemongrass obviously orange bergamot and mandarin that's why i said i can smell the lemongrass and i can smell citrus so that's the top notes the uh, mid notes are lily of the valley rose and margot i know that's how it is said i'm not sure and the base notes are lemongrass and musk and as it is said that it has a perfect pour and there is no discoloration no rising no acceleration no separation yeah you can actually work um swirls or anything that you want with this uh, fragrance the fragrance behaves very well in your soaps uh, the cold process soap i really love working with this fragrance uh, i never it has never given me trouble in a cold process soap so yes this is one of my favorites The next fragrance that I have is obviously one of the best summer fruits, mango. Uh, I have not made soap with this as yet, but I use this in my candles, which I am testing right now. And oh my God, it is such a wonderful smell. Uh, the fragrance that I can smell is basically of a candy so a mango flavored candy is uh, what i can smell in this uh, i use this in my uh, hand soap so my liquid hand soap i use this fragrance and um, i just love it it's just amazing i have used this in uh, a whipped soap of mine not a sugar scrub uh, but just a normal whipped soap uh, but I don't use this much in any of my soaps because they say uh, it has separation but it gets reabsorbed very fast. Uh, there is slight rising. There is no discoloration but there is a good scent retention. So I have still not worked with this on uh, in my uh, soaps because I feel like it's a summer scent. Uh, I've still not had a chance to work with it, but um, I will be making uh, my soap with this and when I'm making it, I will make a video and I will show you all how this behaves uh, in a cold process soap. So wait for that video. And last but not the least, something, you know, that uh, works very well. French lavender. I think lavender is something that you know is quite relaxing and you can't go really wrong with this oh this smells awesome so it's a pure scent of the french lavender flowers there's nothing else in this i have my uh soap in this and i have my uh bath bomb in this it smells amazing both sell so well uh, so i have my lavender and oatmeal soap and i have my uh, relaxing lavender bath bomb uh, it is so it smells so well it it is one of the best sellers that i have also uh, so it says that there is no rising no acceleration no separation very true there is uh, this this soap this fragrance really behaves well in a soap uh, 
I find it really, really easy to work with this in a cold process. So the only, only um, con to this is that it discolors to a chocolate color. So what I do when I work with this in a cold process soap is I use a purple um, I use purple mica to go with the lavender and it, you know the discoloration really doesn't matter after that. So when you're working with something that discolors you just uh, either you have a theme which goes with the discoloration or you just add any kind of mica or uh, any natural colorant which will take care of the discoloration. The reason for discoloration in this is that it has got 6% of vanillin. So anything uh, with vanillin, uh, if you use it in a cold process soap, it's going to discolor. So that is the only disadvantage that the soap discolors. Otherwise, this is a perfect uh, fragrance to work with in a cold process soap. I don't make hot process soap, so I cannot really say much. But for cold process, this is a fantastic fragrance. I uh, plan to make a body butter and a sugar scrub with this. Uh, I am not sure about a, 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 a candle, but I will be surely making a body butter and uh, a sugar scrub with this fragrance. So uh, when I do that, I'll get you all to see how I make it. So these were few of the fragrances that I use in my products. These are the top sellers as of now. Uh, I am uh, trying other vendors uh, with other scents. There are a few other companies that I do use. Uh, but uh, Nature's Garden is what I started. Uh, in fact, I started with uh, Brambleberry um, and then I moved on to Nature's Garden. So Nature's Garden, uh, my, most of my scents are from Nature's Garden. Um, so that is why I did a review of this one. But uh, as and when I uh, think that, you know, I find uh, some of the other fragrances from other vendors are some of the best sellers, I will surely, surely uh, make those videos and show you all those reviews. Uh, so that's about it for the review of the fragrances of my best sellers. Mm, I will do a review of other fragrances in uh, the future videos. So stay tuned for those. And uh, if you have not subscribed, do subscribe. Uh, if you like the video, hit the like button, um, share. And that's all for today. Have a nice day and see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.